Warner Brothers Games Montreal has tweeted out something interesting with regards to the almost certain upcoming Batman game that they've been working on. Back in September of 2019, they tweeted something out, which happened a day after they celebrated the 80th anniversary of Batman. And before that, they tweeted nothing since the 6th of March 2015, barring a retweet on the 8th of July. It was just a simplistic video of an emblem of some sort morphing into different circular emblems and captioned the tweet capture the night and I believe the French there is capture the night instead of being the night as in the night it's the night though my French is very rusty because I haven't actually been over there in five years and I haven't actually studied French since GCSE so I put it through a translator as reliable as those are and it came out with a statement cape on the night I'm sure there'll be an actual French person in the comments they'll tell me exactly what it means and I'd really appreciate that if you did so French people come on Today Warner Bros tweeted out another image with the same caption, however they've swapped the English and the French around. So the French comes first and then the English comes second. Here we can see what appears to be part of a crest and what seems like the shadow of a figure with a cape covering up quite a bit of it. A few hours after tweeting out this image, they tweeted out another image, this time of the full crest without any shadows over it or anything blocking anything. From view. People started talking about how this could be the crest for the Gotham City Police Department. Though in the Arkham games, this is the badge of the Gotham City Police Department, so maybe it's just a crest of the city itself. All I know is that this artwork is alluding to a city, and it appears to have some very Gotham-esque themes going on. So Warner Bros is starting to ramp up the teasing here for whatever this next Batman game might be, and it probably almost certainly is a Batman game. They also launched a web page to do with this artwork stuff that they've been tweeting out, which if you type in wbgamesmontreal.com forward slash redacted, you will be met by this charmingly familiar page. And in the bottom right corner, you see a tiny copyright watermark that says copyright 2020, Warner Brothers Entertainment Incorporated and DC. And so immediately the screams of Batman have become much more intense. As you can see, the artwork on here depicts what they've tweeted out today and what they tweeted out back in September, as well as four other outside circles, four smaller circles, and five tiny circles. So undoubtedly, Warner Brothers Games Montreal is going to tweet out more of those images and add to this site as they go. Because from where I'm sitting, this definitely does not look complete. So when can we expect more teasers then? Because one of them was back in September and the other was today. Day. I doubt we'll be waiting months and months for another teaser on this, otherwise we could be waiting for a very long time. But to go from not having tweeted since September to tweeting twice in one day, and before that September mark not having tweeted for four years, I think we can at least see an increase in frequency of tweets from the Warner Brothers Games Montreal Twitter account. So maybe it'll start off with weekly teaser images being popped out, and then maybe once we get to the smaller circle it'll become daily, and then the final ones will be dotted out over one day. And and then we'll get a revealed trailer or something like that maybe i don't know i mean the fact that they set up this page essentially is a big sign saying watch this space so i doubt they'll leave us hanging for too long people have been expecting something batman related from warner brothers games for years by this point so now that we know that something batman related at the very least is on the horizon i doubt they're going to make us wait until like march or april to tweet out another image but then again what would i know the games industry can be a bit booky at times it would be pretty jokes if they made us wait like two years before this artwork was fully finished, however, I get the vibe that they don't want to piss everyone off. So over the coming weeks or the coming days or whatever, I expect to find out more, or at least to see more teaser images. And if not, then I'll be incredibly confused as to what was the point. The cryptic page above all else makes me think we're getting close to the announcement, and also the fact that everyone probably knows what it is by now also implies in my mind that Warner Bros knows what they're doing. But to find out more, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. There's also the question of what are they going to do with Batman now? Will it be a prequel set between Arkham Origins and Arkham Asylum? Will it be set after Arkham Knight? Will it be a standalone game in its own universe away from what they've done with the Arkham games? That last idea I doubt, but it is a fascinating prospect, and I'm sure there are people out there smarter than me who already have a rough idea where this Batman game might be going. But I do love the Arkham games. They're great fun, and I cannot wait to find out more about whatever it is that Warner Brothers Games has up its sleeve. Maybe it'll add to the already promising arsenal of games coming out this year. So of course, please do let me know what you think 
down in the comment section. So, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That'll be super fantastic. If you wish to support the channel further, maybe consider becoming a patron. There's some extra content and things over there, but whether or not you think it's worth it is completely up to you. And hopefully I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point. But until then, goodbye.